Welcome back. Now the details in full. The armed forces carried out joint exercises with the British side in the field of handling explosive devices with the participation of members of military engineers from both sides. This comes in the framework of the armed forces' keenness in boosting cooperation in several military fields with friendly nations. The drill included a number of theoretical and practical exercises of the developed techniques dealing with explosives by using the latest technology and means of searching and inspection for roads and other installations. The activities of the joint Egyptian-Indian military training, Cyclone 2, kicked off Saturday with the participation of members of the Egyptian Special Forces from the Commando and Airborne Corps with the Indian Special Forces. Joint military training expected to continue for several days at the combat fighting fields of the Airborne Corps across the country. Training includes implementing a number of military prominent exercises to exchange expertise and skills between the participating elements from both sides. Egypt has welcomed the International Court of Justice's decision to take immediate measures to protect civilians in the Gaza Strip. Earlier, the United Nations top court said Israel must prevent genocidal acts in Gaza and facilitate urgently needed humanitarian aid into the besieged territory, handing down rulings in a case that has drawn global attention. The International Court of Justice also urged Israel to refrain from any possible genocidal acts as it presses its military operation in the Gaza Strip, but stopped short of ordering a ceasefire. The court said that Israel must take immediate and effective measures to enable the provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance to address the adverse conditions of life faced by the Palestinians. At this stage, the International Criminal Justice, uh, Court of Justice rather, was not considering whether Israel was actually committing genocide in Gaza process that is to take several years. The Palestinian Ministry for Foreign Affairs and Expatriates said that the immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip is a civil and practical way to make Israel abide by measures adopted by the International Court of Justice to protect civilians and secure their humanitarian needs. Palestinian Foreign Ministry added the continuation of the genocide war was an Israeli challenge to the court's decision Persistence of systematic destruction of the Gaza Strip, creation of a polluted environment that is unsuitable for humans, especially with the targeting of hospitals and sanitary drainage stations, in addition to a policy of continued starvation and thirst.